This video will be part three of working with these lithium batteries out of a Smart for Two electric car, uh, 2013. Now it was really heartbreaking, but these were dead on arrival. Uh, I opened up the cover and there was only 30 volts across the whole pack. Some of the cells even had zero volts. I've been working on them the past several weeks, uh, going through charging and discharging cycles. Uh, I've been using this balance board over here, which I uh, showed you in my last video and I've been using my original 48 volt inverter with a load being a fan which was actually a suggestion from one of you guys so thanks for uh, the comments you know they really do help me out so in this video uh, what I want to do is see if I can actually unbolt the pack and cut out and remove any cells that I've identified as bad or just not good enough that I don't want them in the pack now, I don't know how easy this is going to be. Uh, it might turn into a toothpaste out of the tube scenario, and I'll regret having done it, but we're going to find out together. The majority of these two packs are really good. Uh, we've got two bad cells over here and four bad cells over here. There's these copper tabs that are all exposed right now. Uh, and I'm going to cover them up with a little bit of electrical tape. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to be using these aluminum uh, heat transfer plates anymore. Uh, they were meant for coolant to flow through them. They actually have some... Uh, coolant pipes right here. Got all the screws out of there. Quite a few of them. So here's the aluminum cooling plate. So there are eight long bolts that go all the way through and there's some nuts on the front of the bolts up here. So I'm going to turn this around. I'm trying out some new gloves and a viewer of the channel sent these to me and his name is Kevin and thank you very much Kevin for doing that. Uh, gotta tell you it kind of blows me away the generosity uh, some people have. It was really really nice so thank you so much. Uh, and it looks like he got the size pretty good too uh, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> So I've got my little quarter inch ratchet with the seven millimeter on here and let's see if that will get these nuts off successfully. So it's a, it's a pretty small nut on there. Just a little seven millimeter flange nut. And here's the bolt. So look at that, just a little bit of threads right at the end. And then is that they have this little offset circle on the end so that it wouldn't turn. So here were two and another two, and then over on the other side. There. Ha! Well, we got the aluminum plate off. This is the backer plate. There's the backer plate. Here's the cell. It looks like it says iTech or LITech, maybe. Positive, negative. If anybody's interested in the numbers on here, it says 50 amp hour. 3.6 volt. Oh, I thought it was a 3.7 volt. 3.6 volt. Let's see if we can take this off. There we go. So some kind of uh, maybe silicon gasket there. You can see how the tab comes up here and was spot welded onto this uh, bus bar that jumps across. This is really good news for me. I was worried this thing was just gonna like spring open. 
Uh, but uh, the fact that it didn't tells me that uh, we probably don't have a lot of expanded cells. I don't want to actually pull apart every single cell. I just want to get the two bad ones out and then kind of repackage it. Uh, and I'm hoping that it'll take its form with the plastic itself, not with the cell. And it looks like that should be the case as well. Because uh, I want it to still take the same form so I can bolt this back in the base. I thought that was pretty cool. So we have two cells here that we're going to have to remove. So I'm going to work on cutting them apart. Awesome. All right, here we go. how I tried to cut through that connection. Looks like we got some plastic peeled up right there. And same on that side to try to isolate that cell. So I'm gonna grab my five in one tool here and See if I can pull this apart. <laughs> Break. go. Here's the bad cell. Ah, and check it out. You can actually see just a little bit of ex air in there or air or whatever it is. You guys see that? I, I taped up those tabs. Now that I have the cell out of the package, I realized that it was taking up quite a bit of space where it was pressing against the other cells. Can you guys see how there's kind of a big void now? And I think with these lithium pouch cells, you want this cell to be pressed up against something, which is why the ends have the solid aluminum block. Same on the Chevy Volt, there were metal plates on the, on the ends. So if I was to leave this out of here, am I now going to create this void on the inside? If you guys have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and check out the Patreon link uh, if you want to help support the channel. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Kevin, very much for these gloves. Uh, I was really worried. I wouldn't have any dexterity. I wouldn't be able to grab anything at all. But no, they're actually pretty good. So. Awesome. Thank you very much.